Carl Jung and Freud. Which which team are you on? I'm on Jung. Yeah. Freud is the better writer, but Jung has, I think, a model of the psyche that is closer to where cognitive science is heading. Um, he, he's more prescient. So, Which aspect of his model of the psyche? Directly. So Freud has a hydraulic model. The psyche is like a steam engine. Things are under pressure. And there's a fluid that's moving around. It's like, like this is, yeah. a, Ricoeur noted this. Jung has an organic model. The psyche is like a living being. It's doing all this opponent processing. It's doing all of this self-transcending and growing, right? And I think that's a much better model of the psyche than the sort of uh, steam engine model. What do you think about their view of the subconscious mind? What do you think their view and your own view of what's going on there in the shadow? So All um, bad stuff, some good stuff? Um, any stuff at all? Well, I mean, both Freud and Jung are only talking about the psychodynamic unconscious, which is only a small part of the unconscious. Uh, can you elaborate? <laughs> they're talking the about they're talking about the, the 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 aspects of the unconscious that have to do with your, your your sort of ego development and and how you are understanding and interpreting yourself. Yeah, but which, what else is there? There's the unconscious that allows you to turn the noise coming out of my face hole into ideas. Also, there's, there's the unconscious the that's, that's, yeah. Memory access, all that. All stuff. that stuff, which is huge and powerful. And they didn't think about that. They, 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 were, they were focused on the big romantic stuff that you have to deal with through psychotherapy, that kind of stuff. Which is relevant and important. I'm not dismissing, I'm not saying it doesn't yeah. exist, but it's certainly not all of the unconscious. A lot of work that's going on, my colleague and deep friend, Anderson Todd, is about, can we take the Jungian stuff and the cognitive science stuff and can we integrate it together, theoretically? And so he's he's working on that, exactly that project. But nevertheless, your sense is there is a subconscious. Or at least an unconscious. I, I like unconscious. the term unconscious. And, and Jung continually reminded people that the unconscious is unconscious, that we're not conscious of it. And, and, and that's its fundamental property. Yeah, and then isn't the task of therapy then to bring, to make the unconscious conscious. Yeah, to, to a degree, right? But also, I mean, yeah, to bring, to, 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 bring, to bring consciousness where there was unconscious is part of Jung's mythos, but it's also not the thought that that can be completed. Part of the why you're extending the reach of the conscious mind is it so it can enter into more proper dialogical relationship with the self-organizing system of the unconscious mind. 